Hi, we're going to talk about the Nikon D90. I don't have a D90 with me, but I do have the D50 right here with me, and the outer buttons are very, very similar. Actually, they're in the same spot. But I noticed a couple things, especially with the ISO sensitivity. With the D50, it does not have everything like the D90 has. So my substitute is going to be a more current model, this guy right here, which is a 7100 and a different Nikon. The difference that you'll see when we get into the ISO sensitivity, sensitivity settings when we hop over here is it's going to give you an auto for the minimum. This is not, the 90 won't have the auto uh, shutter speed. So what we will do is go in and set it manually and I will use this one to show you how far down to, to hunt with it. So when we're looking at we'll we'll go to this guy. But right now we're gonna go over him a couple couple things here with this D50, aka for the D90. When you're working with your D90, all your main information is going to show up on this little screen here. The back screen goes completely black what we saw down here you can see where my finger is if you have anything on this screen alive whether it's a menu viewing your photos whatever on this screen you won't be able to change the controls on the camera in the menu using your back dial button or your front dial button that would be here so keep that in mind make sure that you have this screen is black then you'll have all your options that you need to and you can get to on that camera so when we are working with it we don't have any numbers up here right now shutter speed lens opening this top little bar area here so just to wake her up just hit that and right now I've got the camera in auto you can see right here it's in the green camera so I want to change that over 2p now when I press this button she should give me a shutter speed and a lens opening now because we have her in autofocus she may not give me my information because she's in autofocus so let me come on over here spin her around and make sure I have everything that I need to with that let's see what she's doing over here now hmm. very interesting okay well, we will leave that as is. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here's our 60, our f3.2. It just took her a second. And she's flashing a little sign here. I can't read right now, but we'll, we'll worry about that. We'll check that one in a minute. But notice how it just came off, that 10-second delay, to kind of save some battery life. So we go ahead right here, and we'll tap the picture taken button and hold it down for a second and that'll get her to focus and then she'll give you your digits so keep that in mind hold it down a little longer if a quick tap doesn't work and you'll be perfectly fine now we have two different ways to change the ISO we can do it as our everyday photographing shooting time is by hitting this ISO button right here holding that down keeping it pressed in like the shift button on the computer let's see if I can do this and then have a look on the screen here and she's gonna tell me at 1600 ISO I spin my back dial right here and I can change it depending on the direction I always go in the wrong direction so right now this D50 the D90 will actually go to high one, which is 3200 ISO. This guy will only go the D50 from 200 ISO, just like the 90, all the way up to your 1600 ISO. So I'm going to leave her at 1600 ISO, and she's there. As soon as I release that ISO button on the side here, you can see my finger. It, I keep it pressed in. I see 1600. I release it it gives me all my other shooting information that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave her set that way. And I'm trying to get rid of some glare here. And there's another way to set the ISO. And that is by hitting your menu.
coming to the left here because right now I have my little wrench. Go to the left, highlight that, come up, come up again, come to the right, and I have my ISO over here, and I can come in and do my 1600 to 200 ISO, and then say OK by hitting the right button here, and it'll take me back and it will say OK. This is where we now need to hop over to the other Nikon body because of it, the D90 having more information. So my 7100 is on. I'm going to come on over here and hit my menu. And I'm already at the ISO sensitivity settings. If you need to, if you're not on it, you might have to go up and down. Just always make sure. Again, like with that 90, D90, that you're on the little camera tab. So if I wasn't on the camera tab, because I had to come to the left, let's say if I was over here on my, oopsie, on my wrench, I would make sure I'm left on the wrench, come up to my camera, come to the right, now come back down, and find my ISO sensitivity settings right here at the top which should be the same as your D90 this is where you can change your ISO sensitivity right now I'm on high one if I come to the right this camera will go up to high two I can keep going up and pick all my different little ISOs in between so if 1600 isn't enough I can do 2000, 2500 and I have a whole range of ISO numbers. So sometimes, like, let's say at 400, we want that 60 for a shutter speed, and, you know, and it's just not there. We're so close. The shutter speed's 50. So go down to 500. Go down to 640. You'll be okay. That'll give you a little more sensitivity on the ISO, which will make that shutter speed a little bit quicker. So don't be afraid to do that, guy. Um, that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is just make them both match. I have my, this guy is the D50, aka 90 that we're talking about, set to 1600. I'm going to set this guy to 1600, and this says to say OK. Now, most of the time, this will be turned on. To make our changes, we want to make sure that it's on, but we will turn it off when we're all done. Your maximum... ISO sensitivity we want you to go all the way down to the bottom whoops I'm at the bottom so let me go back all the way through and we want it to say high two we want all our, our numbers here and say okay now on the D90 she does not have this auto so we're gonna come to the right you're gonna see all your shutter speeds listed here And we're going to pick the lowest one. We're going to go to one second. There we go. Yes. So we're going to go to the lowest one at one second. In the event that you want a low shutter speed, you want to be able to be in auto and have that night photos taken, you have that at your disposal. The one thing I want you to keep in mind, though, is being at the one second, is she going to pick that a lot? We want it readily available to you, but we do not want the camera to pick this all the time. So if she's going to be hanging around and picking one second, you might want to come back in here and pick 50 or 40 so that you're at your minimum hand holding and then go into, instead of program, go into A, aperture priority, go into S, which is shutter priority, uh, maybe possibly P, or go into manual and actually select your shutter speed, how low you want it. But this is more for, I'm going to say auto, more for your automatic picture modes. But we want her to give you all the options available to you so that it's not underexposed, so that your image is not muddy and mucky and, and a poor quality. So we're going to do one second. We're going to do that as experiment. Otherwise, go back and change it to 40 if you find as you're shooting and it might take a little bit of time a couple weeks or whatever um, depending on how much you use your camera to maybe go to 40 
a 40th of a second. So I'm going to say OK over there. Now that we have your minimum and your maximum sensitivity setting, and I'm even going to leave mine at one second as a test to see what happens. Now we need to go up to this and turn this off. What happens is if you don't, and now see how everything is grayed out. So she is, the camera is going to let you come in and change your ISO the way you want it to be. If you want, if you're in automatic and you want her to deal with the ISO on her own, perfect. Let her do that. But I would rather have you come in and actually pick that ISO sensitivity. So we are done on this end with the ISO sensitivity settings. I can go ahead and come to the left now and get out of here. See the normal menu, hit my menu button, and leave it. Try that, set your camera, let me know how it goes, and we can make any additional settings changes if we need to. Thank you and happy practicing. And don't forget to like my um, YouTube channel and subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.